What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're keto, I'm John. Good morning, everybody. If you have not already hit subscribe, click that subscribe, hit the thumbs up and click that bell so you get future notifications of the videos I'm doing because I know you're going to love the content of this channel, guys. So if you guys have had any experience with the keto rash, don't trip, get a grip. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. happening everybody first and foremost i just want to say thank you all for who have subscribed to this channel i greatly appreciate all your guys support i couldn't uh tell you how much i really enjoy interacting with you guys and just commenting back and forth and just uh, being able to talk to you guys so please keep on doing that i really love um, going back and forth with you i uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day i know i am so far we went to the boxing class guys <clears throat> killed the workout got a super good workout and i was thinking that when I was going to go back since I had that vacation time off and I didn't really get a good workout while I was on vacation, I thought that I might lag today, but I felt really strong, guys. Uh, I was definitely in a deep fasted state. I just felt really good going in there. So we got that in. We got home and Lindsay had, she's got the day off today. And so she had gone to get us some Five Guys uh, burgers, protein style uh, or lettuce wrap, however you want to say it. And you know what? They're actually pretty good, guys. They're like a uh, only 580 calories and they're pretty perfect macros. I mean, the fat's higher than the protein, it's very little carbs. But anyways, I did want to talk to you guys about the keto rash because I have been noticing lately um, that I have this rash. Now, one thing I have to tell you guys about me is I'm sensitive to metals and I work in metal fabri fabrication and it's getting hot outside. So I don't know if it has something to do with possibly the sweat. Maybe I'm getting heat rash or you know, I just found that my skin has been a lot more irritated lately. And I think I got some footage to try to show you the redness around my torso or around my chest area, sorry. And so I thought I'd do a video on this. Now I did the best I could, guys. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not, I got no medical advice for you. It's just my thoughts and uh, what I took on it. I just got on YouTube and started watching some videos and just tried to do a little bit of research on it. And I just found that the most reliable uh, video I found was one of Dr. Berg's. I'll try to li link that into the description. I'm sure you, if you guys are keto, then you probably know who he is. He's pretty awesome. Um, I do agree with the most, or I guess I agree with a lot of what he thinks. And then there's some things that I don't always agree with, but you know how that goes. So apparent, so the way, I, the way I, what I took from it was your liver dumps histamines. And when you switch over to running on ketones, and I got notes here, that's why I'm looking down, guys. Uh, a ton of, you're releasing a ton of fat through the liver and the fat you're releasing contains all kinds of toxins. And so if you don't have enough bile in your gallbladder, you might have trouble releasing those toxins that are in the fat that you're actually releasing through your body. So the bile is going to help get rid of those toxins. So if you don't have enough, what you need to do is get some bile salts and that should fix the problem. So I'm going to order some on Amazon and see if it goes away because if it does, then I know it's keto rash. If it doesn't, then I know it's just from different metals, shavings that I get from work and things like that. Cause, oh, I also had a note here. So, you know, first thought foremost, your body's going to release those toxins through your pee and poop, but when it can't do that, it's also going to release it through your sweat. So that might also be if you work out a lot, especially why you tend to get that rash. And I do work out a lot, as you guys know. So I'm thinking maybe it is the keto rash. And if not, I think that this was still something cool I wanted to talk about and helpful, hopefully for some people that don't really know about it. Um, you know, like I said, I did that, that research on my own. Do your own research, guys. I always encourage you guys to do your own research and never to take somebody else's um, word for things, especially if they're not doctors or anything like that. You guys know I always tell you all the time I'm not a doctor. So it's just my opinion, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about that, and hopefully this video was helpful. And if you guys are enjoying the content of this channel, please hit that subscribe. Share my videos on your social media outlets. I would greatly appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Life's too short, so have a fantastic day.